So I have prepared a number of workshops uh, that we will go through as we create your brand. But uh, before we do that, I just wanted to make sure that we are clear on what, I, what we actually mean with a brand. Like what is a brand? This module is a brief overview of what branding is. So if you have past experience of like doing branding work, maybe on your existing business or somewhere else, you might find that you, you know, this not to be like groundbreaking new things, but I still think it's good that we, that we go through that together just to make sure that we have the same idea of what the brand is as we go through the course. And I think you'll find also some things in there, uh, like some good reminders um, on branding as well. So the concept of branding is old, you know, I started 5,000 plus years ago. It was a way for people to, uh, you know, distinguish one person's cattle from another. Um, you know, they used the, what's called a branding iron, which is also what the word comes from to kind of burn mark their animals with a symbol or something that could see like who is actually owning that animal versus someone else. And, and that very old definition of branding has actually lived on for a long time. So the traditional definition has been that a brand is basically like a word or a symbol that helps separate one's seller's goods and services from another. Uh, but the concept of branding is so much more than that today. The definition we're going to use in the course of what a brand is, is that a brand is basically a person's gut feeling about your business. So it's something that lives in the head of other people. You know, it's not a logo. It's not a business card. You know, that's not a brand or a tagline or something. It's not a brand. That's like one execution that in the end can influence that perception of uh, the people holding their head towards your business. But really the brand lives in other people's head and really everything you do influence that, you know, so every interaction that people have with your business somehow influences their perception of you as a business, as a brand. So really everything communicates. And like Jeff Bezos says, you know, his definition of branding is that a brand is basically what people are saying about you when you're not in the room. I think it becomes clear, right, that this is something that sits in the head of other people. It's not a something that just lives on a document or lives in a logo or something like that. But it's really something that is out there with other people and that everything you do does influence how your brand is is perceived that might feel overwhelming right so we're gonna do this course on branding and you're gonna learn how to communicate your brand so that your brand is portrayed in the right way but how can you possibly control everything that is happening on your brand and i mean everything this is like yes it's your logo it's your tagline but it's also things like how do your staff behave and what do they say when they meet clients to what's the experience like in the salon what music do you play what does your website look like you know all these things is creating that perception of you as a brand right and how can you influence and like how can you control all that you know that could feel very overwhelming um, but the trick here is that we need to get very clear on your brand strategy first so your brand strategy is not something that is visible it's something that lives basically in a document it's something that we will work together to craft for you uh, where you get clear on what your brand is about and when we have that clear then everything will flow from that, which will make it so much easier for you. And in fact, you don't really need to like control all executions of your brand because you have your brand strategy and you know whatever is executed on your brand will just flow from that. And that will go for your team as well, like making sure that they understand and embrace the strategy, the brand strategy of your, of your salon, of your spa, so that they naturally understand how to behave in that environment to make sure they represent the brand in the right way. Two, you know, when you design a logo or when you want to design your website, when you're clear on your brand strategy, that will just make it so much easier for you as we're going to go into all these executions. Naturally, this is a journey, right? This is not something that we will do overnight. So it's going to take some time. And also, if you have a running business today, you have a brand established that you just want to evolve, right? It's most likely not something that is going to be from one day to, the, to another. But it's going to be things that you start to introduce as we get clear on your brand strategy and your brand will start to evolve and we will be able to start elevating the image, the perception of your business. I think it becomes clear like when we talk about this that branding is, is more, it's not, it's not a marketing tactic or a marketing strategy, right? It's not just a way to kind of commercialize your services and to promote your salon or spa. But 
branding really, if done well, guides your overall business. You know, it becomes like the guiding star for everything in your business, which kind of fits into your brand. So this is why this course is really and you will see that as we go through certain modules that you know this goes beyond like a marketing type of focus but it's obviously a central component of um, of your marketing because in the end you know what people see when you go market yourself is your brand and that's how you're exposed so so it is very tightly linked to that but you know the definition of what it is uh, is much broader and it's really something that should guide your overall business so really exciting to now in the upcoming sessions here is to start working on your brand and start nailing down your brand strategy.